All right, happy lockdown, everybody. It's Cash Night again with a ranking video. I didn't do any videos yesterday. I was kind of ill. Well, I had a real bad migraine anyway. But um, today we're going to go into the Ace Frehley collection, uh, the solo collection. So that is going to include the Frehley's Comet and the Kiss solo album. Uh, you know how it works. My worst best, or maybe worst best, have you want to look at it? Could be that way. I think it's that way. Bottom to top. Who knows, right? But uh, I have included the 2016 covers album, but it's not in the ranking. I'm, this is kind of like a bonus, right? So let's, let's start with that anyway. Okay, so here it is. It's Origins Volume 1. It's covers album. 2016 it came out. And this to me, this is a good album, right? There are loads of covers albums out there. And they really don't seem to stand up to the salt of the originals. A lot of these songs do. Uh, it could be, could be Ace, you know. Who knows what it is, but I do find myself coming to this album, sometimes more than the rest of the albums in the collection, because there's quite a good pick of songs. You know, you, you got White Room by Queen, Cream. Can't speak, man. Um, you got Street Fighting Man which stones spanish castle magic i think that was hendrix i'm not too sure do you know what maybe i should look this up no i'm not going to okay so uh then you got fire and water even though on the sticker it says fire and ice there we get that there oh, that. fire and ice okay and uh that's followed by emerald bring it on home Wild Thing, one of the best songs on this album, which I think, uh, it's, it's just a, a memorable riff, memorable lyrics, you know, the, the, there's like that much lyrics, but uh, it's so, so memorable, and, and that one uh, features Lita Ford, another favourite musician of mine, so that it just ties together and it's just great, I, I like her playing, I like her voice, sometimes. Uh, then we've got Parasite. You got Magic Carpet Ride, another one I will go to um, when I listen to this album. I think that's the downside to CDs, you can just skip the track. Um, whereas, where albums were on cassette, if you had the cassette of the albums, um, back in school days, we used to have uh, we used to have to wear a blazer, and we have the, the Walkman in our, our pocket, probably this pocket, no, it would have been this pocket, and the headphones would feed through the sleeve and then just sort of rest in the palm of your hand. You'd, you'd sit there right now. Actually, it would be this pocket. Damn. How would I have done that? Yeah, I'd, I'd moved everything over to this pocket, like pens and whatnot. Um, yeah, so I'd be like right-handed, so. Yeah, and um, with Walkmans, if you fast-forwarded, rewinded, it would drain the batteries. And being in school, you don't have much money, you can't, couldn't really afford batteries every other week, so you need to make them last. So you'd listen to the whole album. And that's one thing I do miss, you know, when it comes to cassettes and whatnot. You know, that was the greatest part about cassettes, you had to listen to the whole album. Whereas now you can just skip it, or if it's online, just pick which one you want, so on and so forth. Right, so, um, yeah, then you got a Kiss cover of Cold Gin. You know, the he covers Cold Gin again. Well, he covers the song they originally played on. Uh, then you got Till the End of the Day. And then Rock and Roll Hell, another Kiss cover. I'm, I can't think who did uh, Till the End of the Day. I can't think of that one. I was going to say I'd look it up, but I did have a quick look in the book um, before I started this video. And it just says who wrote it. So that doesn't help. But uh, this is a, a good album. A good covers album. There ain't many, many covers albums that uh, you can say is a good cover album. But that's that one. Okay, let's go on to the ranking. I've got a sore throat. Losing my voice. Right. All these are good, but um, when I, I've listened to the collections, like various orders and whatnot, I found that I'd, I'd put it in this category of which ones I'd listen to more. So at the bottom of that list is Fraley's Comet, second album, second sighting. Um, 
that was 83? No way. That wasn't 83. No, that's Atlantic Records. Oh, damn. Just, just have a look at this, because uh, this is a remastered edition, right? And it says about Dace's departure in 82. Let's have a look. Let's have a look further. Let's investigate. Right, because I'm pretty sure it was not. There you go, 88. I knew it wasn't 83. Damn it. Stupid, right? It's a, it's a good album. It just doesn't seem to be as strong as the, the debut album. Uh, it just doesn't... You know, insane. Time in running out. Dancing with danger. It's over now. Loser in a fight. Juvenile delinquent. Fallen angel. Separate. It's either separate or separate. I don't know. Uh, new kind of love that. The acorn is spinning. Okay. Not, not very appealing artwork, if I'm honest. Doesn't stand out. And um, the whole album just doesn't do much for me. I, I rarely listen to this album. Um, if I'm going to listen to the, the Ace albums album is not the not the covers album this just doesn't come into my mind to think oh i'm gonna listen to that one or i really want to listen to second coming uh, second sighting sorry no it just doesn't do it for me so that's uh so the bottom of my list just there okay. next up we are going with what album was this? Ah, it's in Roman numerals. Good job I know no Roman numerals. If you've seen uh, my Cosmosis video, which I will do more on, um, it's just I've got something else going through my head which isn't for Cosmosis, which I was working on earlier today. Um, I have a thing for Roman numerals, so I can read it. It is 2009. Okay, Anomaly. Okay, I actually have two copies of this album. If I'm just, yeah, there it is. Okay. Not because I think it's a great album. See, there's that, that copy and there's that copy. Uh, this one was the first one I got. And uh, I, I kind of got like a, a bulk load of the Ace stuff along with the Vinnie Vincent stuff. And that's why I bidded it on it. Okay. Let's just show you this. Okay. Right. So, it's like that. And obviously I haven't built this up. Okay, it opens up like that, and like that, and it turned into this whole pyramid looking thing, I haven't built this up because I don't want to ruin it, if I can keep these flaps open, there's the CD just sitting in there nicely, nicely tucked away, okay, but what I found with this album was it was a lot heavier, I'll give it that, a lot heavier than what I was accustomed to, what I thought. Okay, there's no difference in the track listing than these two. No. I got really confused then. I thought the last track on one said Fractured Life and the other one says Fractured Quantum, but... Whatever. Okay, so you got Foxy and Free, it's alright, it's a bit... A little bit repetitive for me. Outer Space... Pain in the neck. Fox on the run. I like it. It's a, it's a nice cover. Um, Genghis Khan. I'm really not a fan of. Too many faces. Change the world. Space bear. Interesting title. Uh, a little below the angels. Sister. It's a great life. And fractal, fractured quantum. Okay. It is heavier than what I kind of expected from Ace, especially here in the the. The Kiss solo album years and years ago, uh, and then this is it's a lot more kind of up to date, but it just doesn't doesn't stand out. It stands out a bit more than Fruity's Comet on that album. There's nothing that really grabs me, at least on here. You got Fox on the Run. Typically, it's a cover. Um, who did it? Who did it? It's like uh, I can kind of picture the band. Sweet, Sweet did it. That was it. I think. I'm hoping it's Sweet. Sweet, the sweet, 
whichever one it is. Um, yeah, so 2009's Anomaly doesn't do it for me. I like the title, the album art is very appealing to me, um, but no. Next, we're going with 2014's Space Invader. Not so great album art, okay? Not as appealing as Anomaly, but uh, if they chose that, that would have been better album art, personally. Uh, this one, it seems a lot better, okay? It seems uh, more nicely produced, and you know, you've got Space Invader, catchy song, give me a feeling, radio edit, weird. Why? I don't get that with some albums, right? You've got the album. And uh, then it will say on a certain track, radio edit. Well, what's the difference? Because further on the album, it hasn't got the full length. Okay, so you got Space Invader, give me a feeling, radio edit. Um, I want to hold you, change, toys, a bit cheesy, but Immortal Pleasures, Inside the Vortex, which very, very interesting title. Um, what every girl wants past the Milky Way. That's more interesting to me. You know, I've got this sci-fi thing going on and Then there's a cover of the Joker Which is Steve Miller and then Starship which are really nice Instrumental I really like that then you've got bonus tracks Again, I don't know whether this is a deluxe edition or whatever But uh, if it was standard edition why have bonus tracks? It's not a re-release yeah. Uh, so you've got the Joker extended version, and then Reckless, different version, different remix version. Reckless. Reckless ain't even on here. What the hell? Yes, it is. Track 10. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, you see, the, the artwork is really nice. Bit of a boring CD. But I did notice um, there was a lot of posters with this with the later CDs, after Anomaly, I think they're all after Anomaly, they, they, they all have these posters. I kind of hate posters, especially when they're folded. Ah, that's why, that's why. No, this is going to rip. Forget it, forget this. No, got it, got it. Nah, forget it. I don't get it. I hate posters. But you can kind of get the gist of it. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, so. That's that. They, they do have posters. Which, I'm old. I don't do posters anymore. I think the last poster I bought was Garage Days. Most up to date. The last poster of Garage, no, Garage Inc. Sorry. Um, oh no, that's an alright album. Next up, the Kiss solo album. I know a lot of people are going to hate me on this. It's alright, you know, it's a good album. You got Rip It Out, Speeding Back to My Baby, Snowblind, Ozone, What's On Your Mind, New York Groove, I'm in Need of Love, Wipeout, and Fractured Mirror. Fractured again. Interesting. And um, it seems kind of hollow to me. Uh, it's it's dairy milk again. It could have had more sort of depth, and I think that's why. What the hell is going on upstairs? Right, so it just you know, granted it was seventy eight. I think it was yeah seventy eight. So that was forty odd years ago, forty two years, and. Uh, Music technology has got so much better. Uh, depth. I don't know how to explain it, but the whole album, it's a good album, good listen. And there's some great songs on there, but to me, it just sounds a bit too hollow. It's missing the depth. It's Dairy Milk, the whole album, unfortunately. But uh, it is a great album. All right. Next. See, that was quick. Everyone knows all about that. Uh, it was the best-selling Kiss solo album, which I think really annoyed the rest of the band. 
Anyway, next on my list is the most recent 2018 Spaceman. Boring album art. Boring. Okay. Boring back art. Just look at that. It's plain. It's boring. And, uh, yeah, nicely in there. In there, there is, as before, a poster. Okay. Yeah, that was a. The three, there's a poster in Origins as well. On this, it's it seems to have more oomph, you know. I kind of like it. There's another Quantum on here. What is the deal? No. You know, Fractured and Quantum. What's the deal? Two Fractured, two Quantums. So far, maybe there's more. Anyway, you got uh, Without You I'm Nothing, Rocking With The Boys. I kind of like that one. Your Wish Is My Command. Yeah, Bronx Boy. Suit of Rock and Roll. I want to go back. That's uh, kind of catchy. I just remembered it. I just clicked in my head. Really catchy and stays in the head. Mission to Mars. Um, off my back and Quantum Flux. On the whole, it's got a lot more. It's not Dairy Milk. The writing, the writing seems a lot more solid than on previous albums. Yeah, you know, with the exception of the Kiss Solo album, but. I just enjoy this album a lot more than I did with the rest of them. Well, everything that I've showed you so far. But that's uh, Spaceman from 2018. Good album. Check it out. Easily available. Well, I think. Should be still available. You know, the rest of them are harder to find. Especially this. The debut by Fraley's Comet. I suppose you could call this cheesy, but I... I do kind of like some of the cheese. It's uh, with the earlier albums. It's it's funny in a way to sort of spot how many times he he tries to include his name. Like you're gonna play without an ace in your deck and free freely blah 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 whatever. Rock soldiers. Uh, that I can't remember which song it is which says playing with a without an ace in your deck. You know, rock soldiers is a good song. You know, break out into the night. Something moved. We got your rock. I really enjoy that. No matter how basic it sounds, and how 80s. This is 87, by the way. Um, love me right. Calling to you, dolls. That is cheesy as hell. Very very cheesy. Oh. Stranger in a strange land. When I first saw this, before I'd even heard any of it. Stranger in a Strange Land, I thought I uh, Maiden. It covered Maiden, but uh, no. Good idea. Don't do it. And then, an instrumental called Fractured 2. So, more with the Fractured thing. I don't know. Ace must have a thing with Fractured. Too many Fractured bottles. Who knows? But um, again, the album art isn't that inspiring to me. In comparison to some of the others, well, actually, I think uh, Anomaly was the best album art for me. Yeah. You gotta have a good, good artwork. You gotta capture the the non-listeners. You know, you gotta... I don't know how to explain it, but you know, if you'd never heard of Ace Frehley before, why would you pick that up? You know, it doesn't grab your attention, but. I suppose maybe that would grab your attention more. Who knows? But definitely, that would grab your attention. I like that artwork. It's, it's uh, you know what? I could never work out if it's a painting or it's a photo or it's a mixture of both. So, anyway, back to where where was I? Fraley's comment debut. Okay. All in all, it's uh, again, it's a little bit hollow, a little bit dairy milk. Missing a lot of depth, but I like it. And um, you know, this is this is based on my opinion, what I like, what I listen to more than others. And um, you know, leave a comment if you if you do it differently. Anyway, my number one, some of you can gather. Uh, people ain't gonna like this, but it's Trouble Walking from '89. This again is a remastered version. No bonus tracks. Hmm, no bonus tracks. 
the thing that I like about this album is it has a certain sound. Okay, you've got shot full of rock, tongue in cheek, you know. Do ya? Cheesy song, catchy, and I like it, you know. Five card stud, hide your heart. Uh, I believe this was the third cover. Well, not, not cover, really. It was written by Paul Stanley. Before they recorded it, it was given to Bonnie Tyler. Um, Ace picked it up. I think there was someone else who picked it up, and then uh, Kiss decided to do it on Hot in the Shade. Granted, their version is the best, but this is close to the Kiss version. It's very close, but it's, it's Ace singing. Um, you got Lost in Limbo, Trouble Walking, Too Young to Die, Back to School, from that one, Remember Me, and Fractured 3. What is the deal with the Fractured thing? I get it. Um, not great album art. Then again, alright, I'm not saying anything about this album art, I've just remembered something. I don't know where it is. That's no, not that, it's an original. I think it was this, right? It's a terrible cover. It's a single. I think it was a digital single. Bronx Boy. That's a terrible cover, I think. Maybe back in... Uh, when? When, 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 when? Maybe in the 60s, early 70s, that could have been a good single. But this was a single for 2018. I think it's a terrible single cover. Now, yeah, back to this. Okay. Yeah, there's no bonus tracks on here, um, but it has got a lot of pictures and so on and so forth. A lot of writing about the making of the album, what was going on at the time. You know, all that good stuff. And yeah, that is my Ace Fraley, Freely, Fraley collection. Okay. I don't think I'm going to bother with the Vinnie Vincent one, there's only two albums. But anyway. That's that. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe maybe. Leave a comment. Tell me how you do it different. And um, Mam Sabula, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Stay safe.